Hey guys, welcome back to another weekly vlog. I'm Kirsty, if you're new here, welcome. So today, today's the start of my annual leave. I've got a week off and it's also the start of home renovations. Um, there has actually been quite a bit done, but this is the first time that I can actually sort of get involved. Cause you know, I don't have, I don't have much uh, trade skills. I can't, I can't do electrics. I can't, um, can't tile, can't plaster. I mean, I could give it a go, but I don't think it would turn out well. Today is like the first day that I can get in and sort of do some bits. So we're going to be washing down walls. Exciting, exciting stuff. Maybe even get some painting done. So I've chucked on some like old clothes. I, this is an old band t-shirt from when I was like 15 or something. So it's like 11 years old and it still looks brand new. Yeah, I thought I'd chuck that on. If it gets paint on it, it's not the end of the world because I've not worn it probably since I was like 15 tomorrow. Maybe going to Ikea, so that's pretty exciting. Not been to Ikea in a while. Not sure I can afford it. Christmas time and buying a home. Expensive. <laughs> Expensive times. But there are some bits that I need to pick up, like lampshades and things that I actually do need for the house. I'm not going to buy clutter. I'm not going to buy things I don't need, like cutesy bits. Well, I'm going to try and not buy cutesy bits, but we'll see. Yeah, excited for that. And I think maybe me and Holly are going to go to Ray Moyer, Ray Moyer Center. Shopping center, garden center, garden center. <laughs> and uh, see what they've got to bring because they've always got really cool Christmas displays. And I've never actually been, I've been seeing loads of pictures everywhere all over social media. So I want to go and scope that out. Maybe go for a nice lunch or something. <laughs> exhausted. Today is Tuesday, my second day of annual leave and we're off to Ikea. Been up early, I think it's now 10 to 8 so I've been up for like two hours already. Um, we go get some breakfast and then we're heading off to Ikea. So obviously I've got a house now so I thought well, why not go to Ikea? That's the plan. Mum and dad are coming with me. Yeah I think you can see it in my eyes how tired I am today. They're very red. I'm waking a coffee I think. Yeah I will show you what I end up getting. I don't know if it'll be a haul or it'll be like a little segment in this video, but I'm excited. Let's go. Your worries, worry that we might all look the same. Now I can see, see it from the passenger door. I can feel it, feel it. It's like I've been here before. Mm -hmm. hump day even though I'm off so it doesn't really affect me. I'm quite sad that it is Wednesday because the week has been flying by. Yeah so yesterday I went to Ikea which you will have seen little clips of. Spent a lot of money. Spent a lot of money. <laughs> yeah spent a bit more than I thought I was gonna spend but everything I bought as purpose so I'm quite happy about that and then I've got like pillows and cushions and everything for my sofas and my bed and you know things like that that I did need lighting lighting was one of the main ones so I've got all my pendants and my lampshades and things like that so that's all done for all the rooms that's all sorted that's all Ikea I'm gonna probably do a little haul soon because I think it justifies its own haul I'd like to show you some of the bits that are in Ikea at the moment I was loving it I could have picked up so much more stuff so I've decided that I'm going for like burnt orange oranges and like neutrals in like this kind of colours in my bedroom and then I'm going to keep the green shades that I've been speaking about to the living room and the kitchen. That is the plan but I will show you the best purchase of the day. Can you guess what it is? <laughs> this is my golden retriever. You'll know that I have a golden retriever called Casper. Does it look like a golden retriever? I don't think so but he's cute. I'm going to give it to Casper for his Christmas but he's not getting to rip this one up, that's for sure. Because this is going to be my company when Casper's not around. <laughs> he's going to sit on the armchair and make me think I've got a dog on the days I don't have a dog. On the days that he isn't staying at mine. Cute! Yeah, that was yesterday's purchase. Oh, and this morning, I've already been up. It's only like nine o'clock. Um, I've been up and out. I have picked flooring. I've picked bathroom tiles and I've picked carpets. So I will chuck in the clips of that now. That's the flooring I've gone for. 
So the florin is like, it's quite warm actually. And it wasn't originally what I was gonna go for, but I think I want a bit of warmth in, in the rooms. So I think that's what I'm gonna go for. It's Antico Spatia flooring in dry cedar wood effect and we're going for neutral carpet and bathroom tile i really like my bathroom's gonna be white white vanity unit things like that so originally i was gonna go a bit maybe like gray or something um or like off like neutral kind of colors and then i thought do you know what it's quite a small bathroom white might be best just to make it look fresh and a decent size so i've gone for a white tile but it's got you know like gray through it and it's not just flush if you know what I mean. It's got like texture. I think it's gonna look really good together. I'm buzzed. Yes, enough of that. Now I'm going to go do some fun. I'm going to meet Holly and we're gonna go to Ray Moyer Garden Center. I think I spoke about this the other day actually. It looks really fun. It looks really cute. I know that I have a Christmas tree to decorate this year. I've done our family one already, but you know, I just want to browse because it looks cute. Uh, tell me darling, could we run away? We could hide away by the cactus desert. Just a mile away from this crowded place I could lay there next to you Ray Moyer Garden Centre. Oh, it's so cute! So Christmassy. Love so, Christmas. So Christmassy. Um, I don't have any reason to buy Christmas decorations <laughs> though, so I only came home with a 99p candle. <laughs> Winning! <laughs> Holly got a good purchase though. <gasps> yeah, I got a cookie jar. Well, Christmas pudding cookie jar. I'm so excited <laughs> to take that home. Ooh, it's very sweet. So cute. But now we've driven into Bankery, so we're gonna go find a cute little cafe to have some food. Darn. Pendulum swings and we've all preached it, preached it from the passenger side But you'd follow the map if you could put it in drive away Tell me darling could we run away, we could hide away By the cactus desert blue, I can see it just a mile away From this crowded place I could lay there next to with Holly and we went to Ray Moyer Garden Centre which is so lovely. I've never been there before. Holly had. Yeah it'd be a great place to take kids along because they've got all the, the moving scenes and things like the animals that move. I don't know it's too early in the morning for my brain to think what that's called. Displays. I don't know. <laughs> it was just a really nice place. I need to go back next year when I've actually got a Christmas tree to decorate. There was a lot of Christmas decorations that I really liked. I just couldn't justify it this year. So I will be back there next year. And uh, then we went into Bankery and went out for uh, some lunch. So we went to the Chatterbox Cafe, which is just across the road from the car park, the main car park sort of area in Bankery. And I had soup and a sandwich, which was lovely. The soup was so good. It was notable that their COVID measures were really good in there. They have plastic sheets up in between tables, so there's no, you know, mixing between tables. You've all got your sort of, it sort of feels like you've got your own private booth. And then as soon as you leave, they're in there with cleaning down the seats and yeah you could see them it was it was good so that was a nice way to spend an afternoon um, and then the rest of this week so far has just been painting all i've done is paint i am fed up of seeing paintbrushes and rollers but we're getting there we're getting there the whole house is white now more or less still needs a few coats but we're getting there so now it's friday my last day of annual leave i don't know how it's gone so fast today it's a busy one i am going to calla homes south bank site today to check out their um, their show apartment and sort of give you guys a rundown of what's there what you could expect sort of aim it's sort of bring it to you first time buyers a lot of my channel will probably be a first time buyer Kala have great incentives for first time buyers that's what i'm going to be telling you about today and i'm going to give you some style tips interior design style tips that's today's plan and then it's going to be more painting and more painting and more painting and then i'm going out for drinks so 
I'm quite excited about that. Going to All Bar One and um, Ferry Hill House Hotel for drinks. So that should be nice. <laughs> see me was a week ago now <laughs> i yeah i had a bit of a i forgot to vlog but also not, not really much happened i literally painted every single day the full day my house obviously needs lots of renovations so literally we just spent the whole day painting it all white the whole week technically painting it all white so it's almost there we're gonna do feature walls either this weekend or into next week that's where I've been. So the last time you've seen me, I went along to Calla Homes, so their development down in South Bank, which is like Pursley Den area for those that are in Aberdeen. And I got to have a look around their show home and their furnished apartment. So it's perfect for first time buyers. That was kind of the whole reason behind it. I'm a first time buyer and I was sort of asked to come along, showcase the show home and give my interior tips. I'll show a sneak peek of that, but that is gonna be a whole separate video on its own, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, I thought I would just come on and say that, sort of finish off those clips to be like, hello, that's what's going on. I received an exciting delivery recently. I thought I'd give you a little rundown of what it was. So it's this. Pixie sent me a Christmas present. Oh, you can see my goldie right there. Yeah, so I got sent a little package from Pixie. I get sent PR. I'm on the PR list for Pixie, which is very exciting. I love being on the PR list for Pixie. I have so much, majority of my skincare is Pixie because they, they send it out often and I have more go tonics than I know what to do with. So that's definitely going to be people's Christmas presents this year. Yeah, they sent some of their Christmas gifts. If you, I don't know, go on the Pixie website, you'll get these little kits. Christmas time, these could be perfect Christmas presents for people that like skincare because to be fair, especially their glow tonic, it's elite, you can't go wrong with it. I also really like their oils. I use their jasmine oil, I use their retinol oil every single night and it has really helped my skin. I use their moisturizers, I've got it all. Yeah, the tonics are probably their most famous sort of Thing. Oh, I use the mascara as well. It's really natural. It gives a natural volume, which I quite like full volume, but there are days where I'm not doing much, it's perfect. So I thought I would just give you a little rundown on the, um, I've got ants in my pants, I can't stay still. Uh, right, so first one is the multi-toning kit. Contains three little sample sizes, which I'll take them out so you can see. So yeah, we've got three little tonics. We've got the milky tonic, the glow tonic, and the retinol tonic. Milky tonic's actually the only one I've not tried yet, but like I said, I've got loads of tonics. This is the one that I'm working my way through at the moment. It's got my name on it. Yeah, I also have another full bottle of this. So, like I said, Pixate keep me stocked up. These I definitely don't need to keep this year. The different tonics for different uses. Obviously, retinol you'd use at night. Glow tonic you can use daily. It's, it's an exfoliator, but it's not too harsh on the skin. And I imagine the milky one's quite calming. So that is gonna go in a present for someone this year, I think. And then we've got the a Let's Glow kit, which comes in its little travel case, which is so cute. And this comes with a glow mud cleanser, glow tonic as well, and a glow mud mask. Yeah, I thought that's that's such a nice present, isn't it? Oh, and it comes with some makeup wipes as well, which I'm not a fan of makeup wipes, I must admit, but they're good for like travel or festivals, things like that, where you can't do your full cleansing routine. But yeah, I thought that was lovely. And these are gonna go back in the bag and go under the Christmas tree and my mum and sister can share them this year as a little extra Christmas present for me. That's, I think, is gonna be it for today's vlog. This this week's vlog. Hopefully it all mashes in together quite well because it's been a bit, I don't know what the hell I filmed. I hope it's been okay. I hope you enjoyed. I'm now back to work. Uh, it's been a full week back at work already. It was the fastest week of my life. I'm now gonna go and start the next vlog. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you've not already subscribed, please subscribe and comment, like, all that jazz. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.